show me. Hello everybody, Marshall's Film Freak here, and this week we are doing something a little bit different and a lot of it special. We are talking to Sarah Chang. Sarah Chang is a wushu practitioner, a martial artist, a producer, actor, uh, action director, many things, many things to her name. But she is starring alongside Scott Adkins and Andy Nguyen in this month's Accident Man 2 Hitman's Holiday, releasing on October 14th, and we're excited to see it. Did I say this week's or this month's? I don't know. It comes out on October 14th. I'm very excited for it. Accident Man is one of my very favorite Scott Adkins movies. And the sequel just looks bigger, crazier, bonkers. And I'm so excited to watch it. And I'm excited for you to hear my conversation with Sarah Chang. And let's not waste much more time. There is a little bit of uh, technical issues at the very beginning, but we got that fixed. So... Hold steady through it for a few minutes. I promise it gets worked out. Let's get into my conversation with Sarah Chang. All right, ladies and gentlemen, from Accident Man 2, Hitman's Holiday, Sarah Chang. Sarah, are you doing all right today? Hi, guys. I'm doing great. Just got back from the beach. <laughs> yeah, so I saw a recent really interview. Good. Saw a recent interview. You're on vacation. Still on vacation? Uh, yes. I, uh, I... I was just in Cebu for a couple of days and um, yeah, I just got back last night. So I'm Awesome. Better than I'm doing. I'm <laughs> ready to get back to it. But I'm here in Manila in the Philippines. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Yep. I have never left the States. So that sounds great. Um, there's a huge light. I just realized. Is it uh, my internet? It may be. I just realized that you answered me like several minutes later. Is that all right? Uh, we can this? run with it and see how it goes. I mean, I can edit around some stuff. Okay. All right. <laughs> Sounds good. All right. So let's go ahead and get to this first question I've got for you here. I've been uh, watching a lot of interviews, reading a lot of interviews. Uh, I understand that your father got you into Wushu when you were about seven years old. Is that right? Yeah, I actually started when I was five. Five. Okay, um, I thought it was that. And I think I thought it was seven because uh, my first competition was in, uh, was when I was seven years old. Gotcha. And then I got a bit mixed up. So my sister, who's older than me, and my cousin, they both started Wushu, and I wasn't able to start until I was mm-hmm. five. <laughs> gotcha i had a similar situation started karate much after my brothers uh i also saw that you uh didn't really care for it much the first five years tristan yes ma'am okay you hear me? gotcha seems like you were frozen for quite a while um let me make a quick adjustment or gotcha. is that all right yeah you're good okay i'm gonna come right back in in a minute i'm gonna try to use a different internet yeah you're all right Okay. All right. I'll see you in a minute. Yes. And um, I heard, I saw a lot of your interviews that you said that you uh, didn't really care for it much for about the first five years. Is that right? Yes, that's right. So pretty much, you know, we were forced to train as kids and I'm very thankful for that because beginning wushu is just so difficult you know like there's so much stretching there's so much conditioning involved and it was just so so hard in the beginning and um i didn't start to like it until i learned spears i thought that was the coolest weapon and coolest form ever i was uh curious how for the first five years that you were not really having it and i'm sure i know the answer because it's every child's answer. Uh, what, was, what was, I guess, was your motivation while you were miserable doing it? What was my motivation? While yeah, while well, you were just not having a good time. Well, um, 
I guess it was just to, I was just quite an obedient kid, I guess. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's what I was, so, yeah. I figured that's just every kid's answer. I was every time somebody like in like football or something would ask me, how are you still running when we had to like do laps? I'm like, cause if I stop, I get yelled at. I don't, what, what do I do? That's right. Yeah. At the time, I mean, at the time, you know, you just do, you just do what you're told you gotta do it. Then you gotta do it. But I also would have to say another motivation was I had a great, mm -hmm. uh, a great coach and a great um, group of friends that we mm -hmm. did with. And I think that was also a huge motivation to be able to hang out with my friends and, mm -hmm. Um, you know, maybe we're doing wushu, but you know, you, you, you kind of become sort of a family, you know, it's the wushu family. And so in the end, we all, we all sweat together. <laughs> right. Yeah. Fully understand that from wrestling and years of different sports. It, the camaraderie is definitely very important. Yes. So what lessons did you take from uh, the martial arts into other aspects, other careers like acting or other work? I think that martial arts really gave me a lot of confidence. Mm -hmm. And I think that's so important, especially for acting. You know, you really have to commit to what you're doing. And mm -hmm. if you're not confident about what you're doing, it shows, you know, it's obvious. So as long as you, you, you really got to, commit that's one big thing and then focus um definitely martial arts really teaches you to focus mm -hmm. being um, fully in the moment yes and be fully in the moment yes definitely and then train training training repetition training yeah i've heard Stay that a lot of watching a lot of your interviews i've heard repetition a lot I know, I realized it was so funny um, when I did the Wushu Live interview just a mm. couple of days ago. I was just, I just ended up kept repeating repetition. And then I realized that I was repeating myself. But then, I mean, it's, it's just so important. It's, it's really, it's really the process to get that move or to get those movements mm. to be, you know, second nature. And that doesn't happen if you don't repeat them. No, know? yeah, that's absolutely right. My, uh, my, my right roundhouse is a whole lot better than my left because I've done it with my right a lot. Yeah, totally, totally. I think I'm, mine is the left. I like my left side better than my right. So <laughs> I totally know what you mean. Still working on it to this day. Uh, so now that you're in the acting world, trying to be an action, action star, uh, what movies did you see growing up that sort of sparked that drive to want to do that with your life? Well... Once upon a time in China. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think it's so cool that um, full circle, I get to play the descender Wang Fei Hong. I yep. mean, just watching him on the screen, those crazy fights on the bamboo, on the sticks, like it's everything, you know? Mm -hmm. I think um, that was very, those were, you know, huge motivations. And then later on, when Jackie Chan started doing more um, Hollywood, films where they started playing in Hollywood at least, you know, Operation Condor, you and me mm -hmm. and all those um just huge motivations for me, especially as at that time doing what you already. Mm -hmm. You know, it makes it so much uh, so much cooler like, oh, I'm doing that too. <laughs> yeah. When uh how did you come across your first, I guess, uh, Kung Fu movie like that? Like everybody has a different story. Their sibling introduced it to them or they just found it on TV. Um, I think it, well, it was really because of the Wushu family, mm -hmm. you know, we would watch Wushu films together, you know, from Sayuk, Once Upon a Time in China, you know, the Jackie Chan films as well, but it was really a big thing because Jet Li is the, uh, former teammate of my coach. Mm -hmm. So they're all from the Beijing Wushu team. And so, um, to be able to see Jet Li on screen, we're all like, uh, it was just very motivating. Yeah, it's like feels like that's like watching seeing having them that relation with your coach being his teammate. It's almost like a like a wushu cousin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly, exactly, exactly. And then we later got to train with Wu Bing, who is Jet Li's coach as well, and so that made it even even cooler. <laughs> So now you're uh, the, on August or October 14th is Accident Man 2 coming out. What was the atmosphere like 
uh, working around like Scott Adkins and Andy Nguyen and uh, the Kirby's. It was just so much fun. These guys are so hilarious and they're so skilled at what they do as well. So it's kind of um, interesting to have that dynamic where everybody is sort of is really on the same page. Everyone has that action mind. Everyone knows exactly, you know, where the camera's going to be and where, where we're going to do the moves. And everyone is like just so connected in that realm. But at the same time, we still have this action comedy mm. going on. So oh, it would be really funny if you just like knocked them in the ball or you did this or that, you know, like we kind of have a bit of like um, improv and a bit of, um, you know, choreographed you know, sets and stuff. So it was, it was really cool to see that creative process happen. And I learned so much from these guys. They're all, you know, top of the game for sure. Mm. How much were you able to uh, sort of add to the choreography yourself? Because I'd figure with your playing a Wushu character and being a Wushu, you know, I guess expert yourself, how much were you able to add with what you had? So um, actually, so I was, I was asked if I knew any weapons and I, I gave him a bunch of weapons. And later on, we, had, we ended up doing the whip chain, mm. which I thought was, which thought was really cool. Um, um, I guess the whip chain was more organic rather than taking out a straight sword or a spear <laughs> in the middle of the fight scene. But um, yeah, so we got to add the whip chain um, to the choreography. And then, of course, throughout the movements, it's a very, you know, organic process in that when we do our moves, like would this be better, would that be better? Um, which kicks feel better to you? And of course, within you know, when you do the rhythm and when you add everything together, you know, um, I feel like it's a very um, collaborative process. Mm -hmm. no. So it's not just one section on one move, it's just sort of uh, um, the choreography was there, which I love. Um, a lot of the times, because, you know, I'm a martial artist, I'm, I'm asked to come up with choreography on the spot, but it's nice to have this really beautiful set put together already. Mm -hmm. and we could into and then, you know, collaborate on. Yeah, and you worked with guys who had to go through that before. You worked with, like, Scott Adkins, who his early work was in Hong Kong, where he had to come up with choreography on the spot. So he knows that exactly. come up with stuff before and then sort of improv around it. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And then also, you know, it's good to have those signature pieces that you want to bring out and all that, <laughs> the signature moves and whatnot. Um, but yeah, definitely. So yeah, we all, we all, we all know that, that feeling and, and I'm, and I'm thankful that they had such a beautiful, you know, pre and choreography done mm. for, for the set. How does that experience differ from previous work like, uh, Blood Hunters or The Teacher? I feel like this movie is, um, sort of just elevated on a new level with bigger budget and, is um i just love to watch all the different teams work together on that and i guess sort of a bigger scale mm -hmm. and um it was just such a interesting experience to do it in in malta of all places <laughs> yeah. i was yeah i was very jealous uh scott atkins you know following him on instagram he was just taking selfies all over this beautiful location the whole time filming that movie Yes, yes, exactly. That's that's the way to go. Um, and the film looks beautiful because it was a beautiful place as well. So, um, yeah, so it was a great experience, uh, especially living in the you know, five-star resort. <laughs> Definitely a benefit. Helps, go from there helps. and yeah, go, go to work and then go back to that every day. Exactly. Take a dip in the pool, you know. It was, it was really nice. It was a great experience. I saw on your uh, Instagram, you posted doing some AD ADR for your fight scenes. Uh, what is it like? Is it awkward doing ADR over a fight scene? Um, I think, well, for me, I'm, I'm okay with it. I'm totally normal and I'm like out there. I'm in the moment. So, but on the outside looking in, I'm sure, um, actually it was funny because at first, um, the sound engineers there, when they heard my, 
yelling. Mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, it's speaking. <laughs> it's so loud. So we had to like adjust. And then I think after, you know, the first the first couple scenes, they they kind of understand what was going on. But um, yeah, it can be an awkward process, but because this is what I do, like the action, and I know how important those sound effects are mm-hmm. for the edit. So I just go for it. Just go in, screw my head off, and you know, just try to make it as authentic as possible as if I'm in that moment. So yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, so watch having watched Blood Hunters before, and uh, and the teacher, and some of your other short films and stuff like that on on YouTube. Uh, what other, I guess, martial arts do you want to do, sort of on screen? Because you can definitely tell in Blood Hunters, there's a bit of Kali. Uh, it's definitely not. It doesn't feel like a like total wushu vibe in something like the teacher. And I'm guessing this is going to be a very heavy wushu role in Accident Man. So, what other martial arts are you trying to do in in different roles? Well, I feel like I just add a little bit of wushu into everything that I do because that's mm. my core and it's my base. Um, I do really love uh, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Mm. Um, and I find that that's also very difficult to film. Mm. So um, I think being able to bring that to screen in a unique way would be cool. Um, and then I don't mind going for, say, a boxing role. I think that would be fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that would be cool. Well, I, 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 do, I do enjoy some good jujitsu on screen. The Redeemer has some really good stuff uh, from Marco Zoror. Uh, so last question here. Uh, what are three movies today that motivate you to be the best you can on screen? Three movies I guess you've seen recently. That can be martial arts or anything. Just something you saw that really made you want to just go um i'd say atomic blonde mm. um shang chi for asian representation it was just such a big thing for me um and every oh my gosh i want to put you this everywhere all at once everything yeah, yeah. everywhere all everything all everywhere all at once right. yes yes yeah. that was um, that movie is an experience yeah <laughs> it's 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 so new generation i feel like mm-hmm. it's 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 it's, a, it's yeah it's a totally different experience very very interesting and i loved seeing michelle yo on there on screen especially growing up watching her so yes everything everywhere all at once and uh shang chi are two movies that i hope a larger audience can see and and in some way get introduced to kung fu movies exactly yes me too definitely all right well sarah thank you so much for your time don't want to take up uh much of your morning uh thank you so much as well where can everybody find you on social media that's right follow me on at starting sarah chang i do facebook and you can check on my website as well um thank you so much for having me it's been thank a you Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your patience getting started. You too. <laughs> yeah, no problem at all. You have a good rest of your day. Okay, you too. That was my conversation with Sarah Chang. All of her social media stuff will be down there in the bio somewhere. Don't forget that she is starring in Accident Man 2, Hitman's Holiday, alongside Scott Adkins and Andy Nguyen. And the film will be in theaters and on uh, VOD somewhere uh, on October 14th. So by the time I release this, pretty much just like a few days. Get excited, get pumped up, get ready to see Sarah Chang fight alongside Scott Adkins, take a few hits to give her a few hits too, and leave your thoughts down below on the conversation we had today. Comment everything, comment something you're excited about for Sarah Chang. Comment your favorite Sarah Chang thing. Have you seen uh, Blood Hunters? Have you seen uh, Trigonal and a bunch of other things she's done? The Teacher. I will actually leave a link, leave a link to The Teacher, probably even just like right. I don't, there, right, I don't know, there, yes. Go watch that, because it's a lot of fun, it's really, really good. Uh, Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Head over to Facebook, where there is the Martial Arts Film Freak Facebook page, Instagram, Martial Arts Film Freak, Tristan underscore Glover on the Twitter. Thank you so much for watching, and have a good day.